Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller welcoming you to Six in the City. <laughs> And we got a full show today. We Kelso do. Mojo in the studio right. with us. And it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. Same. Happy yeah. Valentine's yeah. to you. Yeah. There, as well. there we are. So. We got our red on. So. Got red. Got my red shoes. Yes, you do. I'm got so, a bow tie. So proud of you for wearing your red shoes. Okay. Well, you know, special occasion. Right? I know. I know. <laughs> we got it. We got to. We got to bring them out go, for special it occasions. Go red. So here we go. Exactly. All right. So. Speaking well, of, we who's got lined a, up on this show today? Oh my gosh, we got a full show today. We're going to be zooming with Whitney Owen, and she's going to have a fur baby with her. She's with the Jackson Animal Care Center. They stay busy down there. And then Jennifer Wilds is here. She is with Discovery Park of America. Okay. <laughs> the voices in my head are talking. Jennifer Wilds is with Discovery Park of America. She's going to be Zooming with us also. She, she is the director of exhibits and collections. So they have the latest exhibit called Inside the Cornerstone Box. Yeah. Go find out about that. Laurice Lanier is here yep. with Kim Turner. Right. Because Lanier Studios is mm -hmm. collaborating with Pat Brown oh, wow. School of Dancing. What so a combination here. It is a combination. We're going to find out more. Um, Lori Kelso Jones is here talking yep. about their music because our entertainment is Kelso Mojo. That's exactly right. And they so, are busy, busy, busy. Yes, yeah, she's going to sing, Facebook. she's going to yeah. talk to yeah. us about it right. and, and find out where they're going to be next and how you can hear them. Elena Perry is here. She will be Cogsworth. Uh -huh. And Kaylee Brinks is here, and she's Miss Potts. So I take can it. you guess what the, they're going <laughs> to be in? I think we're talking about something about Beauty and the Beast. Exactly. Disney's Beauty and the Beast is coming up. Trinity Christian Academy's okay. seniors are putting it on. It's February 23rd through the 25th. We'll find out how to get tickets and about the show and see how that's going. Debbie Swacker is here with us. She's with Madison Area Democratic Women, Mad Women. The Mad Women. Uh-huh. And she's, they are now accepting applications for the uh, Sue Sheldon White Scholarship. Okay. The submission is coming up. The deadline is coming up March 3rd, so you want to find out about it and get your okay. submissions in. All right. So we got a full show. That's all coming up on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why Friends of Heart and the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Experience something new with View It Video On Demand. Now you can preview and rent movies with your remote. Press the TiVo button to go to the home screen. Select View It On Demand to get started. Browse new movie releases and events. Select what you want to watch, then rent. There's even free stuff. You'll find karaoke songs, fun screensaver for your TV, videos for the kids, and more. Experience more with TiVo and View It Video On Demand. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. Welcome back to Six in the City. We're going to begin by making a trip right up to Union That's City, right. Tennessee, to Discovery Park of America. Jennifer Wiles is with us, and she's the director of exhibits and collections. This is their 10th anniversary year, and so a celebration years. going on every That's month uh, at Discovery Park of America uh, this entire year. But we're going to find out about Inside the Cornerstone Box. So, Jennifer, good to have you with yes. us. Thank, Thank you for having me. me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so what, what is Inside, inside the, cornerstone the Cornerstone Box? box? Okay, okay, well, I don't, I don't know if you remember, remember but last year I told, I told you guys about a cornerstone, a cornerstone box that we helped open. It was, it was the one that was found uh, by the Dresden First United, United Methodist, Methodist Church. It was right after those December tornadoes, tornadoes right. that wiped through the town of Dresden, Tennessee. Tennessee. So, the so the church, church building that was hit as they were going through the rubble, because there were a few a few aspects of the church that they, they were able to save, like there were some stained glass windows, um, but they knew that this cornerstone plaque was also still there on the building. And when they went to remove... Um, the stone, they found, they found this box behind it. It's basically a time, time capsule. Um, 
So, so they reached out to Discovery Park to help in opening that because they wanted to make sure they did it, that it was done in a safe way and, and the items inside could be preserved if, if they were even in good condition. So last year, last February, um, we worked with them and we actually opened the box. Um, so what inside the Cornerstone box exhibit is, it's the display of everything that we found inside that box. Okay. Well, I hope when you guys open your box, it went a whole lot better when they opened the, the time capsule here. here. <laughs> it, it actually it was, it was very, very surprising. surprising. It was best, best case scenario. scenario. Everything, Everything was dry. dry. You know, you know my, my team, we were all holding our breaths, breaths just hoping it wasn't going to be just wet and mush. mush. Um, but, but everything was dry, and, and it, was, it was really exciting. How many pieces are in the display? 17. Oh, wow. um, 18, 18 if you include the box itself. itself. We, we had that out there for everyone to look at. And this was put in when? I'm sorry? And this was put in when? The cornerstone? The time capsule that was in 1924. Um, we said 1923 over and over because that's what the stone was dated, but then when we actually opened the box, we realized that um, construction of the church, that new church building back then, uh, took a little longer than they expected. So 1924 is when everything actually was in. What did you find? We found, we found a lot of church documents. documents. Again, the whole point of why that box was put there was um, the congregation at the time were building a new church building. building. So there were a lot of documents about that whole project and kind of what they went through. Um, there was a list of all the people who gave funds towards it. Um, there were different types of hymnals. And, and, you know, these, these kind of little special, special things that we found, you know, they, they would have, have um, you know, names, names uh, signatures, signatures of families with ages or birth dates written inside the hymnals um, of, you know, whoever they belong to. to. And there, there were, um, gosh, let's see, either, there, you know, someone had tucked a photograph, photograph of their granddaughter inside one of the books. books. Um, there's, there's a lot of publications, the local um, Dresden Enterprise newspaper. They had, they had a copy, copy of that. that. There, there were other, it was, you know, a Methodist, Methodist church, so a lot of Methodist-related uh, magazines, magazines that were in existence at the time that the church subscribed to. Um, a, a lot of very, very interesting items. items. And again, if, if you were there for the actual, actual opening, opening, which some of the church members were, um, everything was, you know, they, they got to the see the items, items but we were, we were so worried, worried about, about the condition that we didn't, you know, no one could touch anything, so a lot of the materials were left folded or rolled up. Um, you know, you know, we, we didn't, didn't open any of the books, so this, this whole time until why it's taken us so long uh, to get everything on exhibit was we were cleaning everything. Um, we, had we had to flatten, flatten some of the documents that had been folded for, it had been a hundred years. Wow. We, had we had to introduce, it was called um, introducing uh, humidity, humidity, basically, into it, it um, to relax all the fibers, and then, you know, we flatten it and we dry it. and. Um, so, so that, that now with the exhibit, exhibit everyone can, can see everything, everything really clearly. We scan everything, so it's now digitized for the future. Um, so, yeah. That's really great. That's really so the, the, the display is there now. Is it open now? Correct. It, it, it opened um, just at the end of January, um, and it'll, it'll be there until May 21st. Until May 21st. All right. And then, and then what, what happens with the items after that, after that then? then? It's, it's and everything, everything still is uh, belongs, belongs to the church, so we have everything just on loan from them. them. Okay. Um, so, so they're so still the in the process. So yeah. yeah. Okay. They're still, still in the process of rebuilding, um, trying, trying to get a new church facility. So we've, we've agreed, agreed to just uh, house the items in our storage and take care of them until they're ready, and then we'll return them back. Looks like the church needs to include an exhibit in their new building. <laughs> well, this, well, Jennifer, that's a fascinating story. We're that glad to get really the update. Cool. And, uh, and congratulations to the, to the church that those things, things are, are actually preserved. preserved. Exactly. And, and, and you're your team for making, making that, that happen. All right. Well, continue to be best. We'll talk to you again. again. 10th anniversary year, so, so be here, so be checking at discoverypartofamerica.com. Jennifer, thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Good to see you. Thank you, too. We're going to be right back with more as we continue Six in the City. With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage, text JOIN, 
J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248, 53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we rely on E-plus broadband fiber network to better serve Madison County. With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, fiber internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. Well, we're ready for to get mad. <laughs> I guess so. The Madison area Democrat women, the mad women, are, are with us. Well, Debbie Swackers with us. One of the mad women. One, one of the mad women representing all this. They have a special initiative underway. They have a $2,500 uh, scholarship that they do uh, in honor of Sue Shelton White. And uh, that, that application process is open right now. Yes, um, it's actually been open for a couple of weeks. Okay, it's um, open to whom? It's open to um, non-traditional women students okay. uh, in any of the surrounding counties, Madison and surrounding counties, excluding Shelby County. Okay. And a non-traditional student is a woman who is either returning to school after having taken a break um, for whatever reason, or first going to college, um, not just right out of high, high school. school. Okay. So this is a scholarship that um, there's not a lot of these types of scholarships right. available for women, and we, as an organization, our mission has always been to support you know women and girls of West Tennessee. Okay. And um, as we know, there's an awful lot of women who are returning to college mm -hmm. to right. um, you know after having maybe taken care of their kids, mm -hmm. had kids, or for whatever their their financial situation was, where they didn't go to college right, right after high school, and we want to be able to support those women okay. um, in any way we can. So, we're so proud how do to you do apply this. then? What's the process to apply? We have a link on our website, which is www.madwomentn.org. Okay. Is that M A D M A D D M A D W O M E N T N dot org. Okay. And there's a link on the front page, and that will take you to the scholarship tab, and you can follow the the links from there. You can download uh, the application, and then there is an associated essay question with it as as well. And we always try to to craft an essay question every year that is relevant to what's sort of happening in our country or mm -hmm. in our world right. um, as relates to women, and then ask the applicants to consider that circumstance and relate it to themselves. themselves. So we okay. get a little bit of information and a little peek into um, the women who are applying. So okay. um, right. we're, we're pleased. We've, we've received several applications so far. All right. um, there's always a lot of interest. In, so. so the deadline is? March the 3rd. March the 3rd. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's coming up. Right, and okay. we, we will notify the, um, the winner by the 13th, and we plan to award it in a ceremony out at Jackson State on March the 20th in conjunction with another event out there uh, as part of Women's History Month. Okay. Okay. All right. That's so it's M-A-D-W-O-M-E-N. T-N. Dot org. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if they want to call me okay. <laughs> directly and get some information, my number is 731-661-1879. And okay. they're welcome to call me. I've been fielding many okay. calls. And this is, this is women in West Tennessee, West Tennessee. excluding Shelby County. Excluding Shelby County, Shelby okay. County. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. How did, how did the, the mad women start, Madison Area Democrat women? Well, uh, in 2017, in the fall of 2017, there were um, a number of us who sort of collectively thought, are there any women's organizations for Democrats? Is there a Democratic women's organization right. in Madison County? And there was one, but it wasn't very active. Okay. And so a number of us got together one day and um, had a little get together and Mad Women was born. Okay. And we are affiliated with the Tennessee Federation of Democratic Women. Okay. And so we are um, a statewide organization affiliated with the statewide okay. organization. And of course, the TFDW is affiliated with the DNC, okay. the National um, uh, uh, Democratic, Democratic Party. Party. Okay. Um, and so what we do is we, we just try to um, be visible in our community and um, 
uh, advocate for those issues and policies that affect the um, all of the people who identify as women okay. and girls in West Tennessee. Okay. Well, well it's a great opportunity, yeah. and thank you yeah. guys for, for putting this. that Absolutely. together and I mean, for doing it. We are it, so. pleased yeah. to do it. It's our third year. And okay, third year for the scholarship. We had a wonderful fundraiser last fall that um, produced a... Um, um, We'll be funding. We are funded for this year and years to come. So okay. we're very happy Wonderful. about that. M a d w o m e n t n dot org. Dot org to deadline, find out more information. Deadline is the third of March for the Sue Shelton White Scholarship. It's good to see you. It is good, good to, to see you too. Appreciate the work. And thank sure, you all. It's always, good to see you in person. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Still zooming. Oh me. We're delighted to have these folks in studio with us. That's right. They're here. And They're live. They've been with us before, and they are an outstanding group. We'll be talking to, uh, about them and to them coming up later. We're going to the main stage. And we welcome once again to Six in the City. This is Kelso Mojo. Mojo. Well, I believe that faith has brought us here, and we shouldn't be together, right? But we're not. And I play it up, but I'm dreaming of you. Well, I keep my cool, but I'm leaning. I try to say goodbye, and I choke. Try to walk away. I may seem alright and smile when you leave, but my smiles are just a brush, just a brush. Well, I play it up, but I'm dreaming of you. Well, I keep my cool, but I'm blood is safe, easy, and in less than an hour, you can save up to three lives. If you've donated with us before, thank you. We can't wait to see you again. If you've never donated before, now is the time. Give blood at Lifeline Blood Services today. System Operational Achievement Recognition, the SOAR Award, is the American Public Gas Association's recognition for excellence in a natural gas utility. The award covers employee safety, system improvement, system integrity, workforce development, there are over 700 APGA members. In 2022, 14 of those systems received a SOAR award. But the top level gold SOAR award, only one system. 
the natural gas division of the Jackson Energy Authority. Being an industry leader is all a part of JEA today. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Lifeline Blood Services provides blood to 17 hospitals and 12 airvac services in 20 counties. To make your donation, you can come to one of our two locations today. The city will have more with Kelso Mojo coming up in this segment. We'll be talking to Lori in the yes, next segment as well. Yeah, we'll talk to Lori. Right now, we're talking to Kim Turner and Larice Lanier. And we're talking about, uh, of course, the uh, Lanier Studios and the uh, Pat Brown School of Dancing. And they're going to be col col collaborating. Col yeah. Get it right. Collaborating. Make sure you say the we're right gonna, word. We're going to collaborate on what? Well, Pat Brown School of Dancing has been, we're trying to branch out a little bit. Okay. Um, we've started special needs classes, and now we're starting singing lessons along oh, with. Oh, is that right? Okay. Uh, yes, along with a lot of other activities that Larice will be happy to tell you about that her studio is going to be doing at our studio okay okay right, to so work together to make the community a stronger stronger in the arts okay all right Larice. Yes. well it was founded Lanier Studios was founded in 2009 and right. this was in, actually in Hampton Virginia okay yes we had moved to Virginia out of New York okay and I was like well, let me just really bring everything together at first we started with Larice music studio okay. where we were just teaching voice and piano and I wanted to branch out and include other things like working with artists and working with just people internationally, na nationally and internationally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'll name it Lanier Studios. So I um, ended up registering and then I registered as an LCC, I mean LLC, sorry. Right. And then um, I just started working in home lessons and in studio lessons all over Hampton, Virginia. And then I moved back in 2019. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so I said, here. you know, I really want to also bring quality training, mm -hmm. breathing exercises, vocalese, performance, all of that into this area. So I took some time off. I talked to Kim. <laughs> Kim wanted actually us to collaborate a long time ago. And I okay. said, no, I'm not ready. Nope. Let's not do it now. <laughs> it's okay. not happening now. So uh, I think about a month ago I said, okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. So, so I want to starts, relaunch Lanier Studios. Starts, okay. So we're relaunching and it's going to be done in conjunction with, uh, of course, the Pat Brown School of Dancing. That's so correct. it'll be in your studio then? Yes, it'll be at Pat Brown School of Dancing. Uh, which is where? At 188 Commerce Center Circle. Center Circle, okay. Yes. So right there. So that hasn't changed. No, that okay. hasn't changed. Okay. I took it over after mom passed. Okay. okay. All right. Fantastic. All right. So this starts when? Now. Okay. <laughs> it's already started. It's already started. Yeah, it, is, it is. So, started. so where, where do people find out about the, the classes, what all is available? Then? They can either go to our website and it'll link them back to um, her website, which is uh, Lanier Studios. Okay. So that's, they contact her for music, right. and, music and singing and they contact me for dance. Dance. Okay. Yes. All right. And they can go to Larice Lanier Studios, which is L A U R I C E Lanier L A N I E R Studios. Yeah, you did want me to spell it. Yes, yes. Or they can call and text eight zero zero seven six three six nine zero nine. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's exciting. If you type in the wrong password, you won't say that's close enough. Right. It will come up. Just Google Larice Lanier. You'll see something. Okay. All right. So, so Pat, has anything changed as far as your work? We still focus on the Nutcracker and, and all of that, or are there other things going on? You've expanded. Well, we've dancing? expanded the dancing school okay. um, to have ballroom, musical theater, okay. and Irish dancing, along with the special needs classes, which is blown out. It's doing great. Oh, okay, wow. So, so we, when did that start? We started special needs classes in January. Okay, of this okay. year. Of this okay. year, yeah. Um, four of the teachers went and got qualified to... Um, be able to teach special needs um, children. We wanted to reach a different demographic mm -hmm. and give them. There is not a whole lot in Jackson for them to do. Right. So, right. And then we're trying to branch out. 
we did musical theater because and singing because we're trying to get some triple threats. You've got kids that can sing but can't dance or can dance right. but can't sing and, and then they can't act. So we added the musical theater to help with that okay. as well. Right. So there, yeah, there's so, a lot of talent here in, yes. in West Tennessee. We, we see it every, you oh, know, yeah. every Tuesday when everybody is here. We got some on today. So That's right. It's, yes. it's a great opportunity. That's I love thing. that. I think it's, it's, I think it's great. That's, that's really, when you do ballroom dancing, is that for adults as well? or? It is. It's okay. with the Jackson Ballroom. Okay. So they okay. have also collaborated with us. So Jackson right. Ballroom, adult classes, and, and, and children, classes children classes are at the dancing school. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Well, this sounds exciting. It does. Yes, we're very excited. We're very excited, very excited. Sure excited. I mean, yes. I'm glad to see it happen. It's a matter of timing, right? It's timing. A matter of timing, yes. yes it it sure does. It all works out for the best. Yes, right? and also, too, want to mention... I keep mention, telling you all I'm out to something one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're still, too, we're doing the collaboration, but we're still offering those in-studio and in-home lessons. Lessons okay. as well. So that's okay. very important, okay. yes. Okay. Well, it's good to see you both. Kim so, Turner with the uh, Pat Brown School of Dance and Lorise Lanier uh, with Lorise La or Lanier Studios here in the city. Good to see you good both. To see you. This is good very to see exciting. Yes. Congratulations yes. to both of you. Thank you. Thank really, you. really good to see you. We're going to go back to the main stage. We welcome once again Kelso, Kelso Mojo. Mojo. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. 
you tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities marked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Welcome back to Six in the City. It's a real pleasure to have Lori Kelso Jones with us, and she's the vocalist with Kelso Mojo. That's right. It's good to have you back with us. Yeah. Thank We've you. Been it's good to be here for a few years now, so it's kind of exciting. It's been a while. Yes. I think. All right. You got back into music or got into music how? Um, pretty by accident, pretty okay. much. I, I, you know, went to church and sang in choir and sang right. in school, but uh, as far as band and doing anything like we do now. Um, just about six years ago, mm -hmm. I had a band ask me if I wanted to sing with them, and it began. Okay, so, 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 so the box the, opened. Okay, okay. Can't put me back in. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so you liked it, like a duck in water here. Like, this is very pretty good. Much. Okay, very, yeah. Very good. Um, my friends and family, I'm, I, I sometimes look around and still can't believe that I'm doing this oh, um, yeah. because it's, it's a blessing um, for sure. It, it's just, I feel this in my soul. This is what I'm supposed to do. So, um, but I say all the time, can you believe this? And yeah. everybody that knows me is like, Yes. <laughs> okay. So they saw it and you didn't. Apparently. Okay. Well, that, that, that's good. But I know that, that y'all are staying busy. I mean, we are I see wide open. For Facebook that y'all are playing consistently. So yes. Um, Sometimes you, it's advertised as, as Kelso Mojo Acoustic, which is what? So uh, we are full band right. most of the time, and that is our heart and soul, and right. that's, you right. know, drums, keyboard, just, you know. Yeah. But every once in a while, my husband had not done uh, acoustic really um to speak of much and so he said when we first got together he's like why don't we try that you know why don't we see what that's like okay. very stripped down but it's just him and i his guitar and my vocal nothing to hide behind um but it's really fun um we're able to be a little more um open with our set list and so okay. full band okay. we're a lot more rock and roll and acoustic Certainly. it's two totally different a completely different venue. experiences okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. for sure right. that's cool though, who all is in, that. in the band now so we've got our keyboard player david Gaines, okay. and he is amazing we are always uh, super happy um <laughs> that he's with us there. yeah oh, okay good deal um jason Gerald <laughs> is our bass player okay um, there he is yeah. right. okay and we've got um, the famous Sid Barton on drums. We are so tickled with we him as well. We gotta give love to the drummer because he's usually way That's back right. in the back. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So. The singer's usually right in front of exactly. him, so none, pi none of the pictures show him. Exactly. Um, lead guitar player uh, is Ken Jones, and I'm a little partial, but I think he's pretty amazing. <laughs> 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 All right, so how do you describe Kelso Mojo? Yeah. We are a cover band, um, okay. like I'd mentioned earlier. Um, we try to pick... We, it's funny because we play the songs that we love, that we grew up loving. But we also try to pick songs that we think everybody else is going to enjoy as well. Because if you can't sing along and, you know, it's yeah. not the same experience. It's a different experience. I it think is. we've kind yeah. of figured that out. I mean, like you said, we're staying very busy. We play two to three shows a week as, as oh, a wow. rule. Yeah. And we all have 40-hour week jobs. So um, for me at least, and I think my husband as well, it's where we get to, it's our play. You yeah. know, you pick your hobbies. Right. Um, and this is quite the hobby. <laughs> so it's like, yours is more, it's, it's, it's just pretty, a busy hobby. It is, absolutely. <laughs> but for me, when you get on stage, all the work goes away. 
and if you have a, a an audience that is receiving what you were able to to provide to them, there's not any better feeling in the world. It feeds my soul. Okay. So I absolutely love it. So we play a lot of rock, um, a little tiny. I think we have three country songs, but there's so many country bands out there that are doing a phenomenal job at country. Yeah. Our hearts with rock and roll, and, yeah. and like I said, we. We seem to have found a niche that people are enjoying. So You guys play at different venues? Or? We play about an hour plus maybe 15 radius of Jackson. Okay. okay. So, for instance, we're going to be uh, downtown Tavern Friday night and yeah. then in South Fulton, which is on the Kentucky border, right, right. Right. Saturday. And then the next weekend, we're going to be City Limits in Trenton on Friday mm -hmm. night and then Pickwick on Saturday night. Okay. So we, cover, the game. we spread Bouncing it around. We yeah. do. <laughs> yeah. But we've got... The most incredible fan base ever. I found out just at lunch, our bass player pulled his phone up on our band page. We have a band page on um, okay. Facebook, Kelso Mojo, self-titled. Uh, we have 2,999 followers today. Oh, wow. So if anybody out there is uh -oh. listening we and need wants to follow the page, <laughs> okay. we just need one more. 3,000 would be. Where's my phone? Yeah, thank you. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. I think Steve already follows us. So uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure That'd just, be perfect. Just, 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 well, Laura, it's good to see you. It is. It's on good this. to have you. I mean, when you, when great you find to some, hear you, too. Yeah, when you find something that works. That's right. Yes. Know, and, and this yep. is working, obviously. We well, make each other... It's it's very unique. When yeah. we play together, you know, we want to be better for each other. Right. Yeah. That's a very neat experience. Can't get anything right. better than that. Good well, job. Congratulations. Yes. Thank good you. Have, all, all you guys, good to have you with us. We really appreciate it. They've worked with us several times. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and put Did together Studio, Studio 6, six today morning. that you'll yeah. be seeing. Bright and early. Yeah. Add in for night. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I bet. <laughs> Compared to what you normally do, right? Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to be right back. We'll shift gears, talk theater next as we continue Six, six in, in the, the City. city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, and any way you can imagine. For nine years, the READ team has helped over 2,200 second graders read better through coaching and friendships. Students have increased their word recognition by as much as 300%. Reading on grade level opens the door for Google searches, driver's licenses, and career opportunities. Invest one hour a week to give our second graders every chance to read on grade level. Go to thereadteam.org to sign up. The READ team, changing our community one word at a time. In partnership with JMCSS, Leaders Education Foundation, and United Way of West Tennessee. But you already knew that because you can read. Say it and see it with voice control. Find your favorites faster across live, recorded, and streaming TV. Movies, shows, news, sports, music are just a voice command away. Show me action movies. Just for kids. Every result personalized based on viewing habits and time of day. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Welcome back to Six in the City. Fuller's been on a mad dash to become I'm the 3,000. I'm trying to be that 3,000 one. Okay. And Sorry. We'll pick that, pick that up in just a moment. That's right. We're going to talk theater for a moment. Elena Perry is with us and Kaylee Brinks, and they're part of the cast of Trinity Christian Academy's senior presentation of uh, Beauty, Beauty and the, the Beast, Beast from, from Walt Disney. It's good to have you both with it us. It is good to have you guys. And what, which role have you got? I am Cogsworth the Clock. Okay, the Clock. And you are? Mrs. Potts. Okay, very good. So this is going to be presented <laughs> where? And when? It's going to be at the Ned McWhorter Cultural Arts Center down south, oh, downtown, okay. and it's February 23rd through the 25th. Okay, so that's 23rd, Thursday, week. Friday, Saturday, 7 o'clock Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday matinee at 2. At 2, so we got three Can you get tickets at the door at the Ned, do you know? You can get tickets at the door, um, and then you can also get tickets directly on our website okay. at tcalions.com under the Fine Arts tab. Okay. Um, okay. And then we also have a link all over our social media pages. Oh. Awesome. All right, so who made the decision to t tackle Beauty and the Beast here? It was our director, Carla Nichols, Carla okay. Jackson. Okay. Um, and she, her and our fellow directors, they decide each summertime what we're going to do that year. And we've done Cinderella. I think we had people come and talk about that. Right. And then uh -huh. we've done Annie. And we did another musical last year. And now Beauty and the Beast is our senior play. And it's, right. it's been amazing. Okay, has it? All right. What do you like about it? 
I'd say my favorite part is probably the cast. It's just, it really is a big family, and it is going to be hard to leave them here in a few weeks, but um, it's just, we've gotten very close, and like all the laughter okay. and stuff that we have backstage. How many are in the cast? I think we have 28 people in the cast. And so the cast is, all, is the cast made up of just seniors, or are there other We in have the cast? Um, eighth grade. Through okay. seniors. Eighth, Eighth grade, grade through There's seniors. a couple middle okay. schoolers, but it's mostly upper school. school upper okay. school. Okay. But then the, the for seniors, is the final. Both of you seniors? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so, so this, this is, is the, the wrap-up then. The final hoorah. This is. Last yes. curtain, huh? <laughs> so what attracted you to theater then? Um, well, I've always grown up around music um, and theater and church and all that. And so um, just being able to do that at school, too, um, and getting to make those friendships in that is just really cool to be able to, to do all that. So. I started uh, my freshman year because my older sister, Rachel, did it, and she did it all throughout high school and loved it. And so I was like, maybe I'll give this a try. Mm. I'm more of like a sports person, but I was like, I'll give this a try. And so I tried it and immediately fell in love Oh, you it. got hooked, So I did. I did. Okay. I got hooked. And ever since then, I've just I've enjoyed it. So what, what hooked you then? I would say it was just the people. I mean, yes, the performances we put on were always amazing because we've always had very, very talented people in them. But just getting to have make different relationships that will probably last way throughout college. Okay. And but these are people that you probably wouldn't have normally come across with or normally created a relationship yeah. with, right? Not, probably not. Um, but getting to do it definitely has been. I've been very thankful for it. So what's been your favorite one so far? I'd say my favorite, as of right now, because we haven't done really right. being the Bees, yeah. I'd say is probably Annie, because I got to be an orphan, and okay. the music was, it was it was amazing. And yours, what was your favorite um, to date? In eighth grade, I did Bye Bye Birdie, and that oh, was Oh, Bye favorite. Bye Birdie. And my brother was involved in that one, so oh, fun. just getting to do that with him was really cool. Okay. That's cool. So these performances, once again, are coming up next weekend. It'll be Thursday Thursday, the 23rd, Thursday and Friday the 23rd and 24th at 7, and then a Saturday matinee uh, at 2. At two. And you get tickets uh, through, you get them through the net, or is it best to get them through the school? And you get them at the door. Either yeah. one is fine. Yeah. Okay. So just, she just, said, I don't care where you get tickets. Where you get, just, just get, get the tickets, tickets. tickets. <laughs> Oh, hey, how much are tickets? Do you know? $15. $15. $15. Okay. That's, that's a great it's value. It's priceless, right, compared to what you're going to see, all the talent that's going to be on the stage. Yes. Lots okay. of singing, dancing. A lot. A lot. Does Codworth yes. do a lot of dancing? I do. Codsworth. I have this one little part that's really special for myself. I get to tango, so it's, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's going to be really fun. Yes. Well, that costume would I be... I start to say, that's kind it's of... tricky, but... Trick. Yes. I start to say, that would have to be tricky, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. I guess even Mrs. Potts. Because Angela Lansbury did it in the movie, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Exactly. And so, I mean, that's okay, no pressure on well, no her. Pressure. Well, I mean, but that cast, you know, that cast a certain style that you kind of expected, and you have to bring your own personality to yes, it. Yes, yes, definitely. All right. well, I think well, she's got the right. personality. I think she's got it. Yeah. I'm I not she worried does. about it. Somebody oh. had enough confidence in her to do that. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> that she got Katie Mrs. Brinks Potts. is Mrs. Potts, and Elena Perry is Cogsworth, and it's uh, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, February 23rd through the 25th at the Ned. That's right. Tickets are $15. Congratulations to you both. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for being here. Years. Yeah, absolutely. We we appreciate it. We're going back to the main stage. We want to welcome once again Kelso Mojo. Got it. Outside and she has me a raincoat. She's always worried about things like that. She says it's all gonna end, it might as well be my fault. She only sleeps while it's raining. It's 3 a.m. and I must be lonely When she says, baby Well, I can't help but be scared of it all sometimes And the rain's gonna wash away and I believe it Got a little bit of something, got it's better than nothing. And a 
while I'm faltering round She believes that she's got it all She swallows the moon on high Quite as high as in yourself She only sees It stands out in the landscape. It's the newest and largest water tank in the JEA system. Located northeast of McKellar Sipes Airport, it holds two and a half million gallons of water. Construction costs just shy of four million dollars, but it will supply water and the water pressure necessary to sustain fire hydrants in an expanding industrial and commercial area of Jackson. Meeting needs and building for the future, all a part of JEA Today. From time to time, life may throw us a curveball. Even with the best of efforts, maintaining the essentials like utilities can be difficult. With Utilicare, you can make a donation to help provide utility assistance to families right here in Jackson. Your contribution makes a difference for those families struggling to pay utility bills. Go online to learn more or donate. jacksenergy.com forward slash Utilicare. Welcome back to Six in the City on this uh, Valentine's Day. Yes, it is. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Big Day. Big plans. I, I, th uh, I think I've done well. I've already you got did? The, yeah, I've already got the card. Now, wait a minute. Her birthday doesn't count as Valentine's well, Day, Well, I know. Too. I, I, I learned it was... that. It, it took a few years, but then, you know, <laughs> that, that, combo, that combo gift thing, it, doesn't, just, uh -uh. it just doesn't uh -uh. work. It's of course, not I get work. it back because my birthday is December the 21st. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I started now, to make it. Started demanding two things. That just two worked out things. crazy. Yeah, that did. And then Clayton was born January 25th, so we, we just stack it up like yeah. planes over LaGuardia Goodness. there. But we get it done within a three months. The first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's, 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 it's done. Away. But anyway, but, uh, so, so anyway, so a special acknowledgement to Pam. Yes. You know. Happy Valentine's Day, Pam. Happy, happy Valentine's Day, Pam. And I hope you're as impressed with me as I am with you. <laughs> well, she, 
She's still I, with you, so. Well, I'm must be. That's a good thing. Because I know, I know she has alternatives, you know what I mean? <coughs> you know, it's, it's, so, you know, you know, you know, guys quit sending mail. It's not going to work. That's you true. Know, you know. That's true. We lost a friend over the weekend. Yes, uh, Sheree Parker. Uh, well, this community lost a friend with Sheree Parker's death. And she was a lifeline blood service I, for many years. I, mean, I, I did radio remotes with them. She retired from yeah, lifeline. And, and so retired she... and all that stuff and uh, had battled cancer more than once in her life. And uh, and so we regret her her passing. Ayrton Funeral Directors has charge of the services and they are this week. And so you may want to check that. But she she did great work with Lifeline. She did. She was and it was just a frequent guest of ours and just a, a, such a, a friend. Such a light. Yeah, a light, you know, bright, she had, she bright presence always, anytime yes. she, she was with us. And so we regret her passing. And such an Very asset to, the, to, to Lifeline. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And to it was to this community. She was active with Old Hickory Rotary and, and just a wonderful person. And we regret the news about her. Yes, her we do. Yeah. Sad to hate to report that. But Something else that's coming up this week is kind of a big thing in our industry, and that is the TVA Board of Directors is meeting. And that's not exactly, you know, usually... Mr. and Miss Excitement, <laughs> <laughs> but it's important. There are six new members of the TVA board that have been sworn in since the first of the year, and they are appointees. The President of the United States appoints the members of the TVA board of directors. They are confirmed by the U.S. Senate, and so President Biden has six of nine positions that he, to which he has appointed people. The, uh, the other three were appointed by President Trump, former President Trump, uh, and one of those, who's the chair of the TVA board, will go off, uh, his term will end mid-year, and then the other two, their terms will end in May of next year. And so it's possible we'll have nine appointees uh, from a Democratic administration, which could change the direction of things. There are different could. viewpoints in, uh, on what energy policy should be, environmental issues, and everything else. And what happens with the TVA is important for industrial development, for life quality in the Valley. And uh, that's a, a splendid history, going back to 1933. And life changed dramatically because of the TVA. And so many that's things right. that we have that we take for granted are here because of because the TVA. Because of the TVA, that's right. And so it's important to us. It's important to our company. It's important to this community. It's important to the entire state of Tennessee because that's the source of power generation for the entire state. It's important to this industry. And, and yeah, and um, and also other sections of Alabama and Mississippi and Virginia and, and other places. And so it, it, uh, I'm not sure if they get in North Georgia, uh, but certainly possible that they do. And so it's it's important that uh, will be streamed live. Uh, TVA board, you can you can Google that, and that'll be live. They'll be meeting in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, at nine o'clock this Thursday. And so if you're involved in industrial development, whatever, that's an important thing to mm -hmm. take note that's of. Right. And so we ask you to do that. Might want to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah. The, the Every so order. often. Yes. We get a thank you note. Yes, we do. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had Tosh Newman on the show. He had writ has written a song and was uh, on it to promote yeah. the, um, I guess you'd say, the release, release of the single. Of that, of the single. They had it, the brewery what, right? a week and or so ago. Sent us a real nice thank you so, note, no, thanking, thanking us for allowing him to be on the show. How? And we're pleased. It's suicide prevention connection with, with his, his work and the loss of a friend. And God's not ready for you yet mm -hmm. is the name of the song. And so hope you'll you'll pick that up or That's right. check in with Tosh and appreciate all the people that were involved with with that initiative here in West Tennessee. Most definitely. All right. All right. Once again, happy Valentine's. That's it. Yeah. Know, Valentine's Day is here. Yeah, we are. We'll be right back with more as we continue. Six, Six in the, in the city. city. Hey, have you heard about Four Minute City? Do you know what it is? Our city has over 100 sudden cardiac arrests every year. That's why the 4-Minute City program was created. By placing easy-to-use defibrillators in homes and businesses throughout Jackson, we can save lives. This is not some hypothetical. This is real. But it's up to us. Want to do something good? Come on, Jackson. Get involved. You just might save my life. And I might save yours. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, 
Not to mention the strength of your marriage. Then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Welcome back to Six in the City. Steve Raper, who's the uh, Vice President of Water Distribution here at the Jackson Energy Authority, will be a guest of ours next week on this show because for the third consecutive, consecutive time, time in, in water surveys or whatever, we had a perfect right. score. Perfect score of 100 for both the JEA's water system and Mercer's water system. So it's pretty... Pretty impressive. If you know, know anything about dealing like with auditors and, and inspectors and everything else, they're always looking for something. <laughs> exactly. And you for know something wrong. Be... They don't give out perfect scores well, unless they is... absolutely have to. Exactly. Yeah. And this is <laughs> auditing of the, not just the, the operations, but the whole package of uh, what it takes to provide clean, safe, reliable drinking water to the community. So it's a, it's a huge endeavor, and Steve Raper is going to be on to talk a little bit more, a little more in-depth about it. We've got a press release coming out soon. You're going to be seeing some stuff about it. So you can rest assured that the drinking water that you have <laughs> that comes out of your tap is yeah. reliable and it's safe, safe and, and to drink. Said, third save time for perfect score. So that doesn't happen often, and, and so something's going and those, on right. That's right. Those yeah. folks down there at the water treatment water right, plant yeah. know exactly what they're doing, so and well, they're proud too. So. I know we can't get away. You've run somewhere or got someplace you're planning <laughs> well, to run. Well, this past weekend we talked. We had Caitlin mm -hmm. on the show to talk about the right. Friends of Heart 5K. They had a great turnout, even okay. though it was freezing cold. I didn't see you there, but it was I, still a great turnout. I thought about it. Well, I know. I know. I've got price. the shoes now. Yes, I know. I've, I've you on, have no excuse. I've got running got shoes. shoes. I actually got running shoes now. You know, but speaking of shoes. I the, know, right? Red on today. We got our Valentine's today yeah. is Red Shoe Day. Red Shoe, red shoe yeah. Day. Yeah. There you, there you <laughs> no, mostly his white sole is. I can't it's, get my legs. Did your leg so far work out. like that? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so I'm sure yeah. there's there's plenty of races. Well, congratulations that are on that. Out. And there are other runs coming up. The there season's are. underway now. The, That's right. The, if you want to find out more about the Jackson Roadrunners Race Series, which the Friends of Heart 5K was the first race in the series, you can go to JacksonRoadrunner.com. Okay. And we right. will have Union Basketball on E Plus TV 6 on Thursday, Thursday and, and, and Saturday. Saturday. Saturday and, so and you can go to eplustv6.com. You can stream yep. it there or you can uh, watch it on County 6 County Commission meetings are always entertaining, so check the replays right. on those. And, uh, you can always get the schedule yeah. at eplustv6.com. We'll also have the uh, state championship uh, boys and girls basketball championships, right. Division One and Division Two, March, March 4th, 4th, 11th, and 18th. And we'll have all those championship games. Well, we appreciate these folks being with us. Yes, it's a real do. pleasure, a real honor to have them with us. They're, they're doing a great job in entertainment here in Jackson and West Tennessee. We're going to let them close out the show. Thanks, Lord, for spending time with us. That's and, right. Thanks and we for appreciate being here. the presence of Kelso Mojo. Like this, all the surface of my name on.